It's now been over six months since I last created a best apps not found on the Play Store video. And so with 2022 well and truly underway, I figured it was about time we made another episode. So here are another 10 fantastic applications that you cannot find on the Google Play Store. You ready for this? Let's get started. So kicking off the list today is hands-free music. And this is an app I actually featured on the channel last year, back when it was available on the Play Store, but since then it's been removed. And to be completely honest, it's not all that surprising when you learn of what it does. And that is that it lets you search across every single song on the YouTube platform simply via lyrics. You just tap the microphone, say as many of the lyrics as you know, and it will instantly present you with the most relevant song. The kicker though is that it then starts playing that music ad free. And I guess this is probably the reason Google gave it the boot. Still a great app though. Second up today is TM WhatsApp, which is a modded version of WhatsApp that unlocks a bunch of additional and handy features. Among other things, the standout features of this app include being able to hide your WhatsApp status, as well as blue tick read receipts. There's also a theming engine to make the app look super unique. Plus there are just stacks upon stacks of other really cool features on top of those ones as well. Keep in mind, some features only work if the other users also have this version of WhatsApp installed, but regardless, it's definitely a powerful mod worth looking into. Following that is Simple Calendar Pro, an app that needs very little explanation, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. The key component that makes this app unique is that it is a completely offline calendar application, meaning your security and privacy are of the utmost importance. Then it's also completely ad free, which is fantastic. And it's highly customizable as well, not only in the way the app looks, but also in regards to how it handles your scheduling. It also offers a few widgets to select from, plus you can sync calendar information from other apps if you need that sort of functionality. Definitely no frills, but a solid option nonetheless. All right, after that is an application that has received a lot of airtime on my channel over the past few months, and that is Launchair 12. This version of Launchair is only officially available via their Telegram channel, links below. But what makes this version so great is that it works with Quick Switch on rooted devices running Android 12. That means you can set it as your phone's stock default launcher, giving it full access to the gestural navigation system, which is amazing. So if your phone's default launcher offers pretty minimal customization options, like for example, the Pixel launcher on Pixel phones, and your phone is rooted, then Launchair 12, in my opinion, is a must have. I've actually created a video covering how to root both the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, as well as an additional video covering how to use banking apps on rooted Android 12 devices, both of which I'll link below if you think you might wanna root your own device. Now, on top of that, if you're someone running Android 12 who misses the old power menu found on Android 11 devices, classic power menu is the tool for you. This application also requires root access to work, but once it's set up, you just activate the toggle and there you go. It works pretty well, although you might sometimes see a flash of the Android 12 power menu before it then loads the older power menu. So keep that in mind. Next up is Gorilla Mail. And this is another no frills application, but it could go a long way to solving the seemingly never ending issue that is spam emails. And it does this by providing you with a disposable email address, which you can then use if a website ever asks you to enter your real one for one reason or another. The app will even show any messages that your disposable email account receives, which is super handy if you ever need a verification code or something similar. Now, Dark Mode Live Wallpaper is fairly similar to other automatic wallpaper changing apps I've featured on the channel in the past, but it has a pretty nifty trick that makes it unique. So like Darkinator or Automatic Dark Theme, which are both apps I've featured on the channel in the past, Dark Mode Live Wallpaper also lets you set up two different wallpapers that will get automatically changed whenever the light or dark theme is activated. But this app takes it to the next level by also letting you create dark versions of your favorite backdrops directly within the app. It's a pretty simple yet effective solution. And although the UI and design of the app is definitely nothing to write home about, you really can't argue with its functionality. Okay, Spotify is a pretty handy app that allows you to download pretty much any online media to your device for offline playback. And so there's very little wondering why this app ain't on the Play Store. 
All you do is copy the link from wherever your media is located, such as YouTube or Spotify, and then you just paste it into the app. You hit search and then download all, and the app will then extract the audio information and download it to your phone. And that's it. Second to last is Wi-Fi QS, an app I just recently featured on the channel, but it's just so brilliantly simple that I couldn't not feature it in this video. Now, all this app does is create a quick settings toggle that lets you turn on and off your Wi-Fi connection. And whilst that might seem completely unnecessary, anyone running Android 12 will understand why it's so useful. And that's because for some weird reason, with the Android 12 update, Google decided to remove the separate Wi-Fi and data toggles. And instead, they replaced both of them with this singular internet toggle. And so that means if your Wi-Fi is playing up, for example, and you want to disable it just to use your mobile data, it's now just that little bit trickier to turn it off. And so with Wi-Fi QS installed, you'll get a brand new Wi-Fi toggle that you can enable and disable as often and as easy as you like. So finally today we have Decisions, a fun application that helps you to make big decisions. All you do is list any pros or cons related to a decision, but then the key difference is that you then have to give each pro or con a weighted score out of 10. Once complete, the app will then use a pretty simple formula to determine what your decision should be. How good's that? But there you have it, another 10 applications that for one reason or another, Google don't want you downloading. For anyone concerned, each of these apps are actually safe and secure. It's just something about their functionality that prevents them from being approved for publication on the Play Store. With that said, if you have any other apps that also can't be found on the Google Play Store, then let everyone know down in the comments below. And I'll of course also be keeping an eye out and compiling a new list for any future episodes. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub would be amazing. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.